Hey, awesome people of YouTube. Welcome back to another Black Desert Online or BDO video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about five things that you should do right after graduating your seasonal character. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching and helping by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the video and the channel. So if you can continue doing that, that'll be really helpful, especially subscribing because it'll help grow the channel, get more of these videos out to other people. We also have Discord link and other helpful video links down in the description. So do check it out. Now let's get back into the video. So there are five things that you should be doing. We're going to start with number one. And the first one is talk to Fugar for the rewards. Now, if you don't know how to find them, all you need to do is press start, go to function, find NPC, tap his name and select the territory that you are in and it'll automatically path you to him. Now I'm on Velia, he is by the stable merchant. So talk to him. And you want to select season special gift. Now for your first uh, seasonal exchange coupon, you want to go to not any specific, not any of those, but very specific one, 2021 winter season. And you want to get pen capocha necklace, giving you 30 AP better than your Tuvala and automatically pretty much completes your necklace for a while. Boom. Easy. Now, if you get a second character, you can also level them to 10 and continue your season stuff so you get a bunch of more rewards and stuff or you can just scrap it and just repeat to get more coupons i got lucky i had two i don't know if it was from before to be honest i don't remember but if you have the second coupon definitely go for your summer season the third one for the panka pusher belt definitely worth it if you can get a third coupon go panka pusher ring pretty much getting heavy accessory automatically completed boom they're done don't have to worry about them ever again until way later it's definitely worth it way better than tavala right that is done for number one number two is getting your jetina armor and accessories and weapons because you will be able to get stuff like narc your accessory up to pen your ted bag gloves your ted griffin helmet your ted oregon choose your weapons it's definitely, definitely worth it. You can do the same thing by finding NPC if you don't know. Or if you're in Velia, she's right here. Old Moon Guild Manager, Jetina. Since this character already has done it, what you need to do, since I won't be able to show you, is go to main quest. And you'll have a bunch of these things. Now you also want to complete one weekly quest each time. And that is Imperfect Beings. What you need to do is to have two latent boss overs, which you can get by defeating a boss that spawns every so often, or one of the two bosses that spawns every so often, and it'll give you 155 concentrated boss crystals that you're gonna need. So grab it, talk to her, get turned into the stuff, and you're good. But she'll also have quests and main quests that gives you beautiful armor and accessories. You'll be able to exchange your Pentavala helmet, boots, and gloves for Ted boss gear. If you're DR, go to bed gloves, organ shoes, and griffin helmet. Don't worry about your chest piece. I'm going to mention it in the next section. I also have a link down in the description if you are into evasion or to pick. Same thing for armor or for weapons, you'll be able to exchange them. Do not worry about one of them, you'll be able to get Black Star in a bit. For your accessories, it's slightly different. Right? You will be able to exchange your pen to Val Earring, for example, for pen or Ted Nark your accessory. You have to talk to her and she will allow you to do all Moon Guild support. In the bottom, you will see I have to hold RTNA and it will bring up this menu. Now, don't worry about guarantee support for now because you'll be able to pick from three different accessories. Ring of Crescent Guardian, Nark Ear Accessory, and Tungrid Earring. Do not pick Tungrid Earring. It is by far the worst option. The worst. Your second best option is Narc Ear Accessory. Best is Ring of Crescent Guardian. Now, I have Panka Potion Rings. And yes, Ring of Crescent Guardian is 3 AP better. But I don't have to worry about getting Ear Accessories. I just went with Narc Ear Accessory itself, which at pen gives me 15 AP and 5 DP. 
Now you won't be able to get both of them right away. You need to get the first one to pen, which is a lot. Before you can get your second one. It took me a while, but I was able to get it. For your second one, definitely get it to at least tad, and then you can work on your Tina stuff. Uh, your armors. Now, the biggest things that are going to bottleneck you are going to be your magical shards, which you can get by hitting grade, yellow grade black magic crystals or BMCs. Yona fragments, you can get pretty easy by drops, the subjugation quests from certain areas, and by hitting the specific accessories. I definitely recommend just buying orc and red belts and hitting them 10 belts and you'll be good for a while. The link in the description how much each one gives you. Your blackstone weapons, you'll be able to get because you can also exchange armor ones for weapons. Next one that's going to bottleneck you is Old Moon Alchemy Kettles, which you can purchase. But they cost three and a half mil each. So the very last upgrade is going to be very expensive. About five to six billion in just Old Moon Catalyst. So at least get it to Ted because it's going to be the same AP as it's Vala at 13, but it's going to give you four more DP, which can push you to the next bracket. Now for armor, it's a bit different since you won't be able to just right away get it to pen. You need to level it up to reform level five and then boom, automatically pen by just doing a little talk. Now I'm at reform level four. If you can see in the middle, it says reform level four and the stuff that I need to get to reform level five, which is a cooler earth crystals, which is very expensive. Concentrated magical black stones, weapon types 50, concentrated boss or 30 of them, 450 memory fragments and 120 boss crystals to concentrate it, which is why we did that quest earlier. They'll get me to level five. Now I definitely recommend only doing your helmet and your boots because for bag gloves, you can just all right buy the pen ones after saving up the money or just getting your down ones. Now you can see this is reform level zero and it shows I need one rough emerald, 10 concentrated, concentrated magical black stones of weapon type, 20 magical shards, 50 memory fragments and 60 concentrated boss crystals. And I'll show you for each reform level what you need. It's going to take a bit of time to get both of your pieces like helmet and True still level five, but it's definitely worth it because each reform level it gives you one more D, excuse me, DP. Right. So now, let's talk about your armor, which is tip number three or thing number three that you need to do after graduating. Is doing a Magnus quest. I already completed it, but I can show you. All you want to do is go to quests, go to your uh, not suggested. Go to main, make sure you have selected all quest types, not just general or life quest, but all. Then once you're in here, you want to go to the beautiful thing, scroll down, and it will be right here. There you go, Abyss, the Magnus 3 out of 5. It will be in chest from the Abyss or Abyss Revelation. So it's literally just talking, and boom, you have a chest to where you can pick. Either a Dim Tree or your red nose definitely recommend going red nose yes character might be evasion base which dim tree would be better but go with red nose anyway because you'll be able to get the next tier of the armor which is because i am having a wonderful time remembering is this beautiful fallen god as you can see at base it's same armor as red nose and it's 46 bill. If you can get it to Dio, it's 105, which is, yes, it's only six more. But it's, if you can get it to try, it's already seven or sorry, nine more. But even if I do, it's six more, six AP or six DP, I apologize, is a lot. But how do you get it to the fallen guy tier? Well, you need to hit Kafra level 10 or C10. It means you want to grind areas that give you coffers. And there's few that I will mention in a second. But this is the things you want to save. Now, Red Nose will require a lot less coffer investment than Dim Tree, which is why you're going for Red Nose. It's going to require a lot. For Dim Tree, it's going to require about a thousand to two or three thousand more. And every thousand of coffers is three billion. Think about that. So if it's a thousand, it's three bill more. If it's two thousand, it's six. And if it's three, it's nine thousand. So that's a lot expensive. But you do that quest, boom, you're automatically done. 
Also with this thing is you want to grind to level 61 because once you hit level 61, you will be able to get a free Terra Black Star. Depending on your playstyle, you will determine if you want to pick Awakening Weapon or Main Hand Weapon. I do not recommend picking offhand. Definitely not worth it. If you enjoy playing more Awakening, which is what I did when I started out, definitely take your Black Star Awakening Weapon. If you enjoy more Succession like I am right now, you want to go with Succession one. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. once you pick it, you won't be, be able to switch. And by that, I mean you won't be, go, be able to switch from Awakening to Main Hand. But if you want to play a different class, you can purchase a weapon exchange coupon or through event stuff if you get it. You can exchange your Awakening, for example, Guardian weapon, to Awakening Striker weapon, which is pretty easy. Now, you also want to try to get yourself a Kurum shield if you, for example, somebody that uses shield. If not, you want to take equivalent of your offhand, Kutrum version, because it does more AP against mobs. And then you want to take Kazarka, main hand weapon. Unless you take the Black Star. If you take Black Star, you want to take your Awakening to Pan. For example, this Kazarka Battle Axe costed quite a bit. It was 4.5 bill. And this was about 5.5, 5.3, because my buddy sold it. Right? So now you've already doing your Jatina armor and accessories, you've got your free pen weapon or pen armor, and you get your free Ted Axera, Ted Awakening or main hand weapon, right? Number four thing that you should be doing right after graduating is doing your adventure logs. It might seem a bit boring, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. So let's take a look. If you go to start and go to adventure and pick adventure log bookshelf, one of the things you want to try to do is old moon logs bookshelf to do book of Margaret one and book of Margaret two because it's gonna give you as you can see oh that's a not the right one you can see aggress points like 5k more an extra 5k more more 5k up to 10k item drop plus 50. now book two will give you more max sp more recovery points more aggress points so once you complete it, you'll have maximum aggress, not 50 or 55k, but 100k. And each reset, instead of 15, you'll have 20, which is pretty, pretty huge, especially if you're grinding a lot. You also get beautiful things like more AP and DP. If you go to Igor Vitaly, what you need to do is get to book 14. Because in book 12, I don't know why I chose the old ones. As you can see, if I do Kurum and deliver a piece to that person, I get one AP for everybody. Now, if I do use the desert tool to protect myself in the desert, I get a 1 DP. Now, for book 14, the last thing you want to do is just defeat Nuvo three times to get the desert tyrant mains and turn it in and get plus 2 AP. I believe in book 6, you have also other stuff, like an extra 1 AP. But you also get stuff like max stamina, max HP, accuracy, evasion more inventory slap, more weight, it's definitely, definitely worth doing adventure logs. Definitely do all moon logs and Igabritali books. It will help you quite a lot. Right? Now, last but not least is number five, and it is grind up to level 61 and higher. And then as well, grind spots for certain gear and stuff that you need to enhance. Now I'm gonna show you two spots and we're going to talk about them. Now, the very first one is trees. Or, all the way in Camasilva, the Miramak Ruins. There's a spot over here. I'll be showing you in a video that you can see now in a, in a minute. And you want to grind it because you get a good amount of Kafras and Ancient Spirit Dust, which gives you Kafras. Definitely worth it. Also, the trash here is not bad. It's 18.2k. Right? Now, the second spot, unfortunately, can't really show on the map, is history. There's portals. Now, what I can do is show you the monster zone. And it is in the beautiful place of Valencia. Now, the reason why you want to grind history, if you get to 30 DP, 
AP and 300 DP, which you can get pretty easy. It's not for accessories like Tungrad and uh, Tungrad earring and necklace because they're, they're whatever you can sell them and make extra money. But it's because you get Cavras, which you definitely need. You get scrolls written in ancient language, which if you do, you get memory facts, which is definitely worth it. You also get compass pieces, which are pretty huge, but it might take you forever. But you also get a seal black magic crystals, which are very, very much needed. We need a lot of them. And this is a good place to get them. Also, the trash here is worth 20,370 per piece. And you can pull between 300 up to 450 mil in pure trash. And in history, which you can see right now, you'll also be able to pull up to seven maybe 800 mil per hour right which is pretty good pretty easy rotation but it might be occupied you want to grab it in arsha now in trees if you can see right now it's a little bit easy it's not as apm heavy the stuff over here dies pretty quick but you get decent amount of kaffirs you might also get some other stuff like bells which you can sell for a decent amount but it's definitely worth it it's really easy definitely worthwhile place to grant from 60 to 61 to get your free third black star okay so don't forget trees and history. you can also grant Aquaman if you want but that is it for five things that you should do right after graduation quickly recap them go to fugar collect your awards go to jetina talk with her about your armor and accessories number three do your magnus quest number four do adventure books and number five grind trees Ackman slash Histria. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's grow this channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.